What's up, YouTube? Devil's Details Diecast back here with a special build for Jay's custom diecast on YouTube. It's his girlfriend's birthday, and her last name is Ferrari. So he had asked the community to get together and make a Ferrari build, and I went through my supply box and found this Hot Wheels Ferrari Custom 250 in this beautiful I actually like the yellow finish to be honest with you but let me get it in frame here probably shouldn't have done that but in this beautiful yellow with chrome side pipes this is actually pretty cool uh, casting uh, it's got clear headlights and is a convertible. Of course, right on cue as I start filming, my dog has decided to drink her water, so if you hear that in the background, I apologize. She's been sleeping for about 20 minutes and uh, now has decided to make noise. So anyway, uh, so yeah, this is going out to Jay. Well, not to really Jay, but to Jay's girlfriend. And uh, we're gonna do a special build. We're gonna do a wheel swap here and paint it one of uh, her colors. He gave us some kind of guidelines to what she likes. Sorry for the focus there. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this up on the lift and uh, get to customizing it in our own way here. Uh, as only the devil knows how. We'll put some uh, new decals on it, some new tires, and a new color. So stick around and see what we come up with. All right, so I got the Ferrari out of the stripper and right away we can see some major casting lines on the fenders, mostly top on the front and back. So I'm going to file those off. If you don't know what casting lines look like, it's those big lines right there, right there and right there. The one on the back, probably going to leave it because it kind of adds a line. I don't know. Actually, I'll probably take it off. Just give it a nice smooth look. Um, the front end looks fine. A oh, little bit more paint there. I got to dremel off. But all in all, uh, otherwise pretty clean casting. Not a lot of nicks and rough surfaces. So I'm going to go ahead and file those casting lines off. And we'll check back before we throw some paint. I also want to mention, guys and girls, when you are filing for casting lines, you know, you can get yourself a set of these hobby files. I think I got these on eBay or Amazon, probably. More likely Amazon. Comes with a whole set of different ones. This is just a flat file. There's some round files and, like, triangular files that come with it. You don't need to press hard. You know, we're not doing hardened steel here. Um, just go lightly over it. You'll actually feel when the casting line starts to dissipate or even if you're doing a harder surface. As you can see here, uh, this probably took less than a minute. On the driver's side, let me try to back up a little bit. It's a lot smoother. The casting line is gone. Now you are going to leave some marks there, but you can also just get some fine sandpaper. Also, uh, look for hobby sandpaper on Amazon or at your local hobby shop. They usually have a nice multi-pack, goes from like 800 grit up to like 2,000 or 2,500. And then once you're done filing off the casting line, just go over it with some fine sandpaper until it gets nice and smooth. And uh, you should have no issues. Plus paint, you're gonna do a couple of layers of paint and maybe a layer of primer. And that will also, uh, you know, kind of cover up any minor scratches. So just a little tip. So here we have the Ferrari after the casting lines have been removed and it's been sanded and cleaned in the degreaser. And as you can see, we have a severely yellowed windshield and front lights. Originally I was just going to uh, tint the windshield and run the front lights as they were, but being that this is for a special build, I'm either going to try to source uh, a new windshield and headlights online, 
or I may try a couple of methods I saw on the Facebook group. I did put out a, uh, a post for advice on how to de-yellow plastics, which I've seen online a bunch of times with the restoration guys. Uh, there's all different ways to do it, but I don't know if it works on clear glass, or I'm sorry, clear plastic. I'm going to do a little bit more research and see if uh, I can get it clear enough. I mean, it should be cheap enough to grab one of these on eBay with a clear piece of glass. I uh, did swap out the tires, as you can see. These are random 3D printed tires I had. I'm not sure where they came from. I hit them with the Molotow pen. Um... But they didn't really chrome up, which I'm not too complaining about. Um, I do kind of like the silver. I painted the base silver, as you can see, and the top is also going to be a silver. Um, so right now it's just in the bare metal, obviously. I have a theme in mind here, so this is going to get uh, spray-painted a Rust-Oleum metallic silver. And uh, I'll show you that once we're done there. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on the casting lines. I think they came out uh, pretty good. And we're going to get this shot with the Rust-Oleum. And then uh, I have some decals in mind as well. So stick around. And if you remember, this is what we started with. The Ferrari Custom 250 from Hot Wheels. Actually a pretty nice casting in this yellow with the chrome pipes and the plastic lens headlights. And here's what we came up with. The finished Ferrari for the Free the Ferraris build for the JDC family, most specifically for Amanda and her birthday. Hope she likes it. And it's in the patriotic fighter jet themed. Had a lot of fun doing this. Looking forward to having her open this live, or at least somewhat uh, filmed on YouTube. Went with the metallic silver paint. Ordered new glass because the glass that came with it was severely yellowed. And even this glass um, came new in package. Well, I mean, it's an older casting, so maybe even in the package it got a little yellowed. But this even kind of has a yellowish tint. But this, this uh, donor glass came new on card, so um, it's the best I could get. Bottom's all also repainted. And uh, this will be heading out to the post office today. So it will be there in person by the 20th, uh, even way before. So... Amanda, hope you like it, and Jay, thanks for putting on the build, and I uh, look forward to seeing it on your channel. Until the next one, be well, and happy birthday, Amanda.